Well, good morning, everyone. Today is a sunny day. It's a day where it's a very low key day for me as I am still recovering from not feeling very good for quite a long time. So I learned a lot through all of it. And some of the things that I learned, I want to share with all of you because I think that my change of thinking and my perspective on things that are very different now, I think some of you will find interesting. Anybody who has known me for any amount of time would say, yep, Tessie would love to live off grid. That's what I've always told everybody for, oh, 12 years now. And while many aspects of my life are off grid, some of the things that I have to live with is an off grid situation. I still am on the grid, but I wouldn't live off grid for all the money in the world. I changed my thinking on it. Well, I changed back to saying I would love to live off grid again. And I don't think so. What my husband and I experienced in the last couple of weeks has changed my mentality and philosophy 100%. And while people who do live off grid, I admire that. And I think it's beautiful and neat. I no longer want it. In fact, I, I wouldn't want it even if I could get it for free. So much has changed. As I get older and things happen in my life, I realize that sometimes it's not always working harder. Sometimes it's working smarter. And while in the depths of the middle of our sickness, we lost our oil furnace, stopped running, and we had no hot water, which you all know I've gone years without hot water. And finally we got it fixed and to have it break again. And then our propane stove broke. All of these things just compounded our illness. Just going out to the chicken house to feed the chickens was a monumental task. Getting up and doing that. It made me really think about, it made me think about what's going to be like when I'm older. Oh, I know through the years, many of you have said, well, Tessie, what are you going to do when you get older? How are you going to cope? And I would say, oh, that's a long way off, everybody. I'll take that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> well, I am older and I really haven't got to that bridge yet. But let me tell you what, I went on that bridge and it wasn't very fun. <sighs> Honestly, if a severe illness came to somebody and they lived off grid, I don't know how they'd survive. I don't know how they could continue because illness stops you in your tracks. I assume you would get help somewhere or something. I, I don't know what you would do, but we learned the hard way. When your husband and you are both ill, it's work. It's work to haul water out, not having any hot water and boiling your water just to wash your hair, hanging your head under the, at the sink for quite a little time to wash your hair and then feeling like you're going to pass out when you bring your head back up. It's hard work. I don't want to live off grid anymore. Maybe it was a scare that never will happen again. Maybe I'll just happily go through life feeling extremely strong. But it was a lesson for me. I don't want to be off grid. Now I want to live a simple life. Yes. I want to live a life with homesteading. Yes. But I'll take my electric. I'll take my electricity because I realize that it can be really hard on your body, mentally and physically, when you live off grid. And I don't even know a half what it's like to live off grid. All that I know is what it's like to haul water. And that part of my life can't change for a while, but I wouldn't want to have it any harder is what I'm trying to say. So while I continue to watch the off gridders and think it looks like a wonderful life, Sometimes they don't tell you what it's really like because those kind of videos are the hard videos to make the ones where you're sick and the ones where you don't even have the strength and the energy to get out of bed. How do you keep your house warm all night when you can't even get out of bed? How do you haul water out when one five gallon bucket is bucket is over 40 pounds of water? And you don't have the strength hardly to lift a coffee cup. <laughs> Do you think I'm exaggerating? 
Oh, I'm not. Because we were hit so hard that the first night, we couldn't even get out of bed. We didn't know how we were going to go to the bathroom. We were that weak. It was different back in the 1800s. Really different. And so we think of romanticizing all about it. And it is romantic when you see in the movies and you see in the videos. But let's not forget, like Little House on the Prairie, when the locusts came and ate everything. Let's not forget Little House on the Prairie and all the stories of the fires and all they had was a pond to get water and all the illnesses, all the deaths, all of the things that were taking place. So, my friends, while I am recuperating and I do feel a lot better, I do realize that off-grid life is just not for me. And it's okay. It's okay to say that. That doesn't mean you're weak. That doesn't mean that you're weak-minded. It just means that there's certain things that only certain people can stomach and can do. And for me, I can't live totally off-grid. It was just too much. I think another thing too is, it's okay to have hard days. You know, I talked so much in the last eight months about being positive. You've got to be positive, and it is important to be very positive. But let's face it, we're human, and some days are just plain rough. And it's okay, that's the human spirit. Not everything is gonna be roses and butterflies and rainbows. Some days are very tough and hard. While I hope I never get this again, it has taught me a lot of lessons. It has taught me many things. It has taught me to see the plight of other people. It has taught me to enjoy what I have. And on days I feel good, to just thank the Lord that I'm feeling good. Because when you feel so utterly bad, it's hard to think about good days. You get stuck in a rut and it's over and over again. And it's hard to stay motivated. It's hard not to let depression come in and destroy your day. We need healing in our nation and in our world. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow.